We are here today to talk about connectivity and the IoT, two crucial topics in cybersecurity. I'm happy to say that we have Brian Talbert with us. Brian is the head of networking and connectivity for Alaska Airlines. He's one of more than 30 contributors to the upcoming book from Fortinet CISO, Phil Quaid. In your contribution to the book, you describe the connectivity needed by the coming wave of IoT as unimaginable. And what is the math that blows your mind about this? So I think proportionately, when we think about IoT, the numbers of devices that are connecting to the network are unlike anything that we've seen previously. It's also somewhat unpredictable. So the math isn't always exact with regard to the needs, the needs of our internal customers. Uh, in a traditional network, you've got numbers of people who sit in cubicles and you can do some math to determine how many people are going to connect and how many switch ports you need. With IoT, all of that suddenly changes. You've got other modes of connectivity, be it wired or wireless, and you also have devices that aren't anticipated, light bulbs, security cameras, and all of these other things that the business wants to connect to the internet. You said in your, the contribution that today we have like 8.4 billion devices with a projection of 20.4 billion devices by next year. And how is that showing up for you in your landscape at Alaska Airlines? So I think that uh, very broadly speaking, there's an expectation for all things to be connected to the network. That also translates into this really vast landscape of um, potential vectors for attack. We saw a couple of years ago one of the largest attacks the internet has ever seen through Mirai, and that was orchestrated by controlling IoT types of devices, predominantly security cameras, light bulbs, the two that I mentioned early, earlier. Um, and so in Alaska Airlines, we've got to be able to get in front of that. We've got to understand what our end users want to put on the network. We've got to be able to detect it. Visibility is paramount. We've got to be able to see what the network sees at all times in all places. Is there any hope of us getting, you know, real visibility that's meaningful on that new digital attack surface? I think there is, but again, we have to rethink how we traditionally approach the problem. One of the outcomes of increased visibility is a much larger data set that has to be parsed. And the traditional mechanisms that we might use in an SOC, for example, don't necessarily scale to the volumes of traffic that's generated through this increased level of visibility. So things like AI become ever more important. We've got to come up with new mechanisms, new ways to be able to identify threat vectors very rapidly. We can't rely upon humans noticing it. 